Hi everyone, I'm Hoop Hildenbrand. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Hoop Hildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today we have the second lesson of these 19 um, possibilities, possible three note structures. And we will really go into the, the voicings. We have six families, a very systematic approach, how to um, find out all the different voicings for each three note structure. So let's get right into the, in into the endless ocean of music. So please uh, follow the link down in the description below to download the PDF file. There's a lot of pages actually, which which uh, you will find there. And. Actually, this this um, the, 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 this topic of today we already talked about in in, in the intermediate lessons six, seven, and, and eight. So I will not go so uh, so deeply into this uh, subject, but I I have to um, just uh, I have to explain um, these these pages um, to you. I think I mean, of course, please. Please check out these, these other three lessons to get a real uh, clear idea about it. Um, but maybe it's sufficient if you just uh, follow this lesson and then you have these pages and then you, um, you understand. There is a, a very cool systematic approach for voicings, for, for different spacings, different forms of, of, of a voicing of, of like one one structure, for example, on four note or three note structure, and this this uh, this this approach, um, it's it's about dropping notes down one octave. Um, the way it works, it's 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 like this: you you will bring all this these root position, and um, in this case, first and second inversion. If you have three note structures, you have just root position, first and second inversion. So you have actually uh, three different forms. And these forms are defined actually by, by, by the lowest note. So you have just three notes, so you have just three possible lowest notes, so you have just three possible basic forms, you can say. For example, you have a C major uh, triad, a three note structure, and you can have the C, the E, or the G um, as a lowest tone. Okay, and all three note structures they have um, three close position forms, and close position forms means the range of the whole thing of the whole uh, voicing is not exceeding uh, major sevenths. By this way, we guarantee that the notes, the three notes of the structure, are as close as possible together. Because in this range of a major seventh, just every note is just present once. So you have just one C, you have one E, and so on. So if you put the notes uh, in this range, there is not, it's not possible to get the notes any closer together. So for example, for a C major triad, you have C, E, G, that's the range of a perfect fifth. Then you have EGC, that's the range of a minus six, and then you have GCE, that's the range of a major six. And you can say between two adjacent nodes of this structure in this voicing, is it's not, not possible to fit another tone of this three note structure. So the nodes are as close as possible together. For example, CEG, between C and E, it's not possible possible to get the G, for example, or between E and G, it's not possible to, to there is no other note of this uh, three note structure in between these, these, these two notes, you can say. So close position means you bring these notes as close as possible together. And when we have this uh, achieved, uh, we achieved this, we already have the first family of voicings, this close position voicings. So, for example, I, I take E minor now as a um, as a uh, subject for for this lesson, but of course it's it's uh, it's the same procedure for all these all of these nineteen different uh, three note structures. 
So for E minor, I can have a EGB, I can have GBE, and I can have BEG. So these are these three different um, close position forms. Of course, I can play them in different octaves, for example. I can play, I can start all over. So these are the, all this, these possible close position triads. But I also can play certain chords on different strings. For example, I can play E, G, B. I can play it here, E, G, B. Or I can play it here, E, G, B. On these pages, you just find these three basic forms of close position, of this family. And just remember, you can play them in different octaves. And also you have with, with, with certain um, forms, especially with the drop two voicings, which will, will come very soon here, um, you have a lot of different possible fingerings on, on, on the guitar. But this is something you, you have to put in, in practic practical use uh, yourself, actually. This, this approach here is just a systematic approach which gives you all the possibilities. And then you go through them and you, 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 um, you experience, uh, hopefully, new uh, sounds and you get new ideas and um, you, you approach, I mean, you, you uh, progress. Uh, okay, so we take close position Close position forms as our basis. To uh, come up with the different other families, for example, drop two, we can always count the notes from the top note down. So, for example, if we have a, a close position E minor, try it. B, E, G, we count the notes from top down. One, two, three. So we have three different notes, one, two, three. And we say, when we say drop two, we take the two, so the second, the middle note in this case, one, two, we take the E, and two drop means we play this note, not there, but one octave lower. So instead of here, we play it here. So we have this structure. That's very simple, actually. I mean, sometimes it takes, it takes a while Till you really get it. Um, but drop two just means take the second note from above, always starting with a close position form, and play this, drop this note one octave lower. Okay. For drop two, we have, um, of course, also three forms. We have root position, E minor, E, B, G. And these drop two voicings, they're really cool. Nice voicings. They have really the spacing is, is, is very nice of the notes. So uh, we will find out later actually what, what we that they're really um, very very good working for voice leading and for for um, connecting different um, structures. Um, and also all these nineteen uh, possible three note structures, all of them it's it's possible to play this uh, this drop two forms. So all of these 19 structures, they have these, these drop two, three different voicings. And they're all uh, playable on the, on the guitar. Because later on, some, some weird combinations of notes or some certain, certain voicings, actually, which you find on these seven pages, uh, they're maybe not playable so easily. Okay, if, if I go through these um, drop two voicings, just to, to give you an idea, um, so you have E, B, G, you have G, E, B, and you have B, G, E, and then starting all over, octave higher. So on this page there are just three different voicings written. Of course it's all transposed here to C, So, but, but I think this doesn't matter, it's just um, you have to transpose it anyway if you need, need a F minor chord, for example. It's not necessary to write them all down. What you find there is a system, you can say, a systematic approach, and then you can take this approach for any three-note structures, 
structure you, uh, you want to work with or you like and you, you want to uh, explore. Okay, so um, with these drop, drop two voicings, especially with these, you have a lot of different fingerings on the guitar, actually. So you have, for example, you, have, uh, you can play uh, G, E, B, but you can play this B, open string, also here. So you have this chord. Then you can play this E, you can also play here. So also what you can do is, if you start here, you can play this again as an open string. So already, one, two, three, four, four possibilities for the same notation, you can say. And then for, for I don't know, for this chord, or you start with this, E, B, G, you have E, B, G, you have E, B, G, maybe that's not so uh, useful, but E, B, G, E, B, G, um, E, B, G. You could also use harmonics, E, B, G. I mean, there are a lot of different ways. I, I figured out actually on this, um, on this other page, uh, on the last page, the, the eighth page, um, that there, that I came up with 56 different possible fingerings for all these drop two voicings only, and 16 of them use open strings. And I, I don't, I don't have this in this number. They are not these voicings which, which are, um, which have harmonics. So harmonics actually in in E minor, you have a lot of. Um, possible harmonics also. So it's it's actually a quite huge number and I think it really doesn't make any sense to write them all down. I think it's it's very important and I think during this course you really recognize this importance also. Um, it's really important to learn the notes on the fretboard. That's one one very 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 important thing because once you know these these notes you can have all these combinations, you know, I mean, you can, it's not such a, such a big deal, you don't need to, to learn um, completely new voicings, because you know, okay, G and a B and an E, or, or a B, E, G, and then you have a B, G, E, or an E, B, G, so you know the notes, so very quickly you can, you can make up these chords, and also with voice leading, when you know, okay, the fifth has to move one step to the up to the C, then you have a C major, you have to know where the fifth, the B is of this chord, and um, you, you have to find the C and, 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 and so on. So to really uh, work um, musically, of course, and um, um, efficient, to work efficient on the fretboard, you have to learn the notes. You really have to know the notes very good, very quick. Also, you have to know the, the structures E minor. You have to be very quick E G B. That you know these these three notes instantly, and then you 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 have your fretboard. You know where your notes notes are, and you know all the different um, possible um, positions of these three notes. That's very important, and of course, it's it's something you you never finished with. It's always uh, improving. You can say. There is no end. There is no end to anything. Almost anything in music, there is no end. Okay, but that's a, that's a fun thing, actually. It's not that you're suddenly you, you come to this point where you stand and say, okay, now I have, the, I have it. I have everything. I know everything. I can play everything. It's actually quite boring in a way because it's not possible to explore anymore. And that's, that's I think that's one of the, the, the biggest the biggest fun also in, in music that you really feel there there is another door which I never opened or I feel there is another way to express express it and to, to go more deep you, you can go more and more deep and it's it's always you, you can be always curious and and, uh, and um, that's cool actually okay um, if we go on we just um, I, I just talked briefly through these um, six families. We have drop three. Drop three, of course, is dropping one, two, three, the, the third note. 
So you have these, these voicings. These are also quite nice. And actually, I think most, most of you never played these, these forms. Also, we have to talk about the right hand, of course. I'm using always like a pick and, and the fingers in combination. And that's, that will be also a very important topic. I, I think this is a very important technique for, for us guitarists who also play with a pick and not always uh, change between. You know, we don't want that. We want to be, we want to, we, we want to be able to, to play not shifting gears, you can say. We want to uh, uh, be able to play single notes in uh, connection with chords and so on. Okay, um, the, the other category you have is, is uh, double drop two. Double drop two means, double drop means dropping one note, in, in this case the second note from top, dropping it down two octaves. So this is not possible with, oh, of course it's possible with this voicing. So um, the two is not dropped one octave, but uh, two octaves. So you have this chord or this chord and you have these, these other inversions. And then you have double drop two, drop three. That means you, you, you take this double drop two voicing and also drop the three. But of course, um, always thinking you start with a close position. So three, three is uh, the, uh, the B and you drop it just one octave. The top tone stays and the E you drop two octaves. So you have this chord. So you have So, so unclear, you can say. I don't. I'm not really such a fan of these close position triads. They're very dense, and yeah. But there's a there's a completely tip, uh, different different thing if you um, if you spread them out differently. So, so the melody can really breathe, you can say. So you can... different patterns um, but especially also as voicings just as harmonically they sound very nice one it's uh, drop two and three we just drop the, the two and the three by one octave so instead of close position we have this and it also has like two close uh, two two notes close together the B and the E in this case and then you have a you you skip you can say you skip three notes the, the G the B the E and then you have the G so that's uh, in this case, the range is a uh, um, 13, a flat 13. Yes. So, and this, you can also play in all these different inversions, root positions and inversions. So always close position, you can, you can 
can sing close position. You can also sing differently. I mean, the, the system uh, doesn't, doesn't say you can only sing in one way. Of course not. You can also sing, um, you just drop up the top note, for example. So you have uh, G, B, E, and you just drop up the E to E up an octave. So, or here, you drop the close position, drop one up. So, yeah. so you can also sing like this. You can sing, okay, uh, drop two and three voicings are just drop one up voicings. And please check out uh, these, uh, these three lessons, um, intermediate lessons six, seven, and eight. I mean, you don't have to, to buy or download the, the, the PDF files. I think you, it, it will be um, very clear um, just, just uh, watching these videos by now, by now after I uh, told you already so much stuff. Um, but also you can, you can group these six families into uh, two bigger groups. And this is also some, some, some interesting, interesting thing. Okay, anyway, what you find on these, uh, on these seven pages here is like all the, the 19 different three note structures, all in all these six different voicing families. What, what I want you to do is to, to go through these seven pages and really play all of these voicings and really try to, to figure out how you can play the, them on the on the fretboard and if there are some voicings which are not possible try to find different ways of, of transposing the voicing for example and th th that, that you can have open strings or harmonics or something and um, just go through them and explore and, and get a kind of a, a taste and a, a kind of an overview of all these, these possibilities of these, of these sounds that you um, that you you can say okay I played them all and I um, I I uh, in a way I know what what they are what this this thing is about and then I can decide for myself do I want to go more more deep into that or is it not really the the time now for that but I think you will you will find out like a lot of cool sounds just with these three notes and also you 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 you, you can really enjoy this this these, these spacings on, on the on the guitar that you have a these these huge distances of um between notes so this gives gives a very um uh, in a way full but also transparent um sound and very often I, I like these three three note structures much more than the four note structures. Because if you have too many notes and if the notes are too close together, it it's really it's it's not 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 so clear anymore. It's it's a different thing, for example, with the piano. With the piano, it has really long strings, and for every note you have you have up to three different uh, three, not different, the same. Uh, string so it's 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 very different a, a very different thing and um, the whole construction that every note just has has their own set of strings um, on the guitar it's more more unclear the whole thing if you have more notes it becomes very hard for to, to really hear all the all these notes sometimes and with these chords, they are very full, but also not like like.
beautiful, beautiful sound. Um, okay, then on the on this eighth page, you see the different the different forms of um, I mean all the the possible um, the possibilities of these of these six families of an E minor triad with all possible top notes. So I, I just I um, just explain I explain what, what I mean here. You have three notes. So the lowest top note, the lowest string, is a fourth string. One, two, three, four. Because there you can can have three three different notes, and then have this 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 top note top note here, and, and the other two notes below it. So close position, top note on the fourth string. And the lowest form is this, fourth string. Then you come to this, you come to this, you come to this, and this. So one, two, three, four, five possibilities. And on this, this you, you see on the first line here, you see close position, this is the one system. And then you see this, this circled four, and always remember circled numbers, they, they are the, the, the symbol for string. So a circled four is the fourth string. Remember, always count the strings from top down in this system. And then you see, okay, you can, you can actually play the first five voicing. You see the, the, the bracket there. You can play the first five voicings with a top note on the fourth string. And then you, you, you see one, one line higher, you, you go to the third string. So there are actually one, two, three, five. There are five, five possible voicings of close position triads with the top note on the third string. And you go on, there are five possible voicings with the top note on the second, on the B string. One, two, three, four, five. And there are also five different voicings with the top note on the first, on the E string. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, if your guitar um, has a uh, has more frets, you have maybe more, maybe one or two extra um, possibilities to play them. Actually, the whole course is really, um, it's really um, starting point is my guitar. You can say actually, I this course I'm more or less written for myself. It's just. Uh, uh, my way to 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 learn to to practice and to approach uh, things. So, and and then later on, I I I uh, I, I found out for myself. Okay, I, I should share this this all this stuff. This is so much stuff. I mean, I've written I, I've written down uh, everything. You know what I I find useful for myself musically useful. Of course, I threw away also a lot of stuff which I didn't didn't find useful or nice musical so um, there's a long process many years okay um, next line you have these drop two voicings and then you have drop three and so on and I think this is this this should be should be clear um, for example, drop drop three voicings. You see, okay, there's just one drop three voicing, the first one, which you can play the, the top note on the um, on the fourth string, and that's um, this one. Yeah, because you have a low E as an open string, so you can play, you can really play this here. But you also can play this here, of course, on the uh, third string and also on the second string. It's all in the same voicing. But that's the only possible drop three voice in here for E minor, which you can play the melody or the, the top note on the on the fourth string. 
Okay, I think I think that that's it. I, I think it should be clear. If not, please leave your leave your uh, comments and ask questions. Um, maybe I, I overlooked something something or I, I just I just uh, ex didn't explain it very very well or I I already saw it. You 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 know certain things, but you don't. So um, please let me know. Please let's have some interaction here. And I really read all these uh, comments. I may not respond to all, all comments, but where I think, oh, th there is really somebody who really wants to, 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 to learn this and he has a really serious question I, and I really didn't, didn't um, answer this question and I, then, then I, I respond to that and I, I may, uh, may do another um, extra, extra lesson where I go more into, into detail on, on that question and maybe I just missed uh, something I missed to explain something okay I hope you like these lessons here please subscribe to my channel if so so to get also notifications when there's a new uh, video uploaded um, um, uh, released um, every Friday is the day where a new lesson will come out also, there's a possibility to go to my website, um, just follow the link down below in the description to donate, to support my channel here. And also on this website, you find all these uh, PDF files and there's also a list and an overview of all these um, lessons. Maybe this, this list is not updated like every week, but um, um, I, I Mostly, I when I finish a, a certain course, I uh, I take the time to to um, to put this into this list. And on this list, you can just um, click on the on the, the name of the, the topic, and then you come to a site um, where you find the video and the PDF link, and sometimes also some some comments and some. Uh, uh, Corrections, but most of the corrections actually they are already here in the um, If I made a mistake or I, 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 I saw it Myself that whoops I explained it wrong or I used the wrong word. I put it down in the description below in um, as a correction So see you next uh, Next lesson there. We will talk about the melodic approach and different arpeggios and so on of these two uh, three note structures so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. My name is Hupilgen.